Sorcel, and welcome to Behind the Sim Summit. I'm Phil Ring, and I'm so happy you're all here with us. As some of you may know, starting today, the Sims 4 base game is free to play. Yay! This is our way of an open invitation. This means we're bringing more players into the Sims universe than ever before. After all, the more players there are, the more oh my gosh. there are. Please the be multiplayer! Are, the more fun we can all share together. So if you haven't met the Goth family, given your cow plant a name, we're hooed in a rocket ship, or gotten a visit from the Grim Reaper, now's the perfect time to come try everything for yourself. You saw how much you loved the Sims Deliver Express drops? So we're bringing more of that to the game. We can now expect updates for this content monthly. And we also have more packs, more kits, and more free updates planned that we'll share with you when we're further along. Today, we're so excited to share early concept developments that will feature in two future Sims expansion packs. As we look towards the future for The Sims, we also want to take some time to appreciate the journey we've been on. So let's take a look. Oh my gosh! Okay. Come on! Oh my gosh! New? New what? As players, creators, and storytellers, you make The Sims. Every day we're inspired by the incredible ways you express yourselves from the billions of hours played, breathtaking houses built, videos created, and unique stories shared. And as we watch the vast content coming from this amazing community, we're astonished by the incredible creativity, <laughs> and we are truly proud to be a part of this team delivering on these games for you. For years, the Sims community has been expanded by modders and custom content creators. And today, we're taking a big step forward with The Sims in recognizing and celebrating their contributions. I am excited to announce that for the first time in our history, we'll be working with a new destination for The Sims 4 players to download trusted mods and custom content. <gasps> this will come to life through our new partnership with Overwolf, an all-in-one platform for in-game creators to build a new, safe, curated space for the Sims 4 mods and custom content. If you My only problem with that would be I do content, not play vanilla gameplay a lot. <laughs> is that they are gameplay with this new partnership, we're empowering creators to give to the community by introducing a destination to host their incredible creations and allow even more players to download their content for The Sims 4. I think my only problem with something like that is I'm afraid that it might be moderated maybe a little too heavily. I use a lot of Deader Pools uh, mods uh, in my gameplay, and I probably have a feeling that those won't be available in this particular destination. We'll reveal more about this program this holiday season, and when we launch, it will include content from some of your favorite modders, such as Hey Harry. To say thanks for supporting us, We've released celebration rewards across The Sims 4, The Sims Free Play, and The Sims Mobile. Go check it out now. Hi everyone, this is Anita here. And you are behind the scenes with us because we're about to party. Mr. Phil is hashtag. Let me hear her. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I was addicted to The Sims. I oh my gosh! That would give me unlimited money. So. Is that illegal? <laughs> when we're young, we dream about so many things, and then when you see these things actually happening, it's just crazy. Oh my gosh! I'm back because I always have a little something extra up my sleeve, and I'm not quite ready to be done here today. I am so excited to share today a first look at the future of The Sims innovation. For me, this is an honor to reveal, as I started working on The Sims as a game tester 20 years ago, and now I have the privilege to help usher the franchise into the next decade and beyond. We are building the next generation Sims game and creative platform, reimagining the Sims you know and love with new ways to play. This is the future of The Sims, built on a foundation of charming Sims, powerful tools, and meaningful stories. This future requires us to stay true to what The Sims has always been while pushing to evolve how those Sims think and behave, to push tools even further when creating and customizing, and to explore innovative ways to not only tell stories, but to collaborate on those stories or creations with your closest friends across your favorite devices. <gasps> the Sims has always evolved to reflect you, our players, and your experiences. We have a growing team focused on this game, working alongside The Sims 4 and mobile teams. And now we want to share this with you earlier than ever before because we want you to be a part of our development journey. 
Exploring different ways to play The Sims requires us to commit to different ways of building it. Today marks the start of our journey over the next few years. Our working title for this new generation is Project Renee. Now we chose Project Renee because it's reminiscent of words like renewal, renaissance, rebirth, and it represents our renewed commitment to The Sims. And that's what we're doing. We're ushering in a new future for The Sims with a new game experience and more. Now, I want to give you all a very early behind the scenes look at what we're oh. testing and exploring. Again, this is very early and just a few aspects of what Project Renee will grow to be. We start with our creative tools, a key part of our Sims DNA. We're experimenting wow. with what's worked and where we can push further oh. to offer more flexibility than ever before. Yay! Oh my gosh, color sliders! Patterns <gasps> and colors, but also the shapes oh. of the objects that you'll be using when you build and decorate. In it's crazy we had this in The Sims For 3. Years, we've seen the power of the community and coming together and wow. sharing the cool things you can do with your friends. Whether you've used the gallery or shared your creations elsewhere, being able to celebrate each other's work has been a long-standing tradition. I like how they custom placed With that Project pillow. Renee, we want to make it easier to work together and share. You can choose to play or create by yourself or with your close oh, friends. Oh, wow. It's entirely your choice. They just uploaded, no like, who you may the want to play with, set. We want to be able to play wherever you want. So this is demonstrating an early technology test of how you can play this game across supported devices of your choosing. Same experience, different screens. Oh, so wow. This is just a small taste of what Project Renee and the team is working on alongside The Sims 4 and mobile teams. Over the next couple of years, we'll continue sharing updates with all of you on Project Renee. We'll share in-progress work, explorations, sneak peeks, and behind-the-scenes content, as well as start to open up early access to Project Renee software to small groups over time. Oh, that would be so exciting. One more time before I go, this is super early for us, and we've never shared information about our games years before they launched to the world, but we are so excited to take you on this journey with us. Now, the best way to keep up with all of this and any news about Project Renee, alongside news of The Sims 4 and mobile games, is to sign up with thesims.com and follow our social channels for any updates from The Sims team. So that's it for me. Thank you for being here. No way. It's a baby. Wow. Okay. All right. Sims 5 is confirmed, technically. It'll probably be like a good uh, five years at least before we see this particular um, type of technology in the game come to fruition. I also don't think it's going to be called The Sims 5. I think that what they're going to be able to do in the future is just really push updates to the games that we already have installed. Kind of like how they do The Sims Delivery Express and then other updates and patches that they make to the game. I think the babies thing is really cool too. I don't really play with babies and toddlers a lot in my gameplay, but I know a lot of other simmers that would super appreciate something like this. Uh, I'm also really worried about the one-stop shop for CC and mods. Like I mentioned before, I use a lot of mods in my gameplay that I don't think would be supported in a community like this, but you never know. Anyway, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Lily says bye too. We'll see you later. Awesome.